and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blickety black, blacker than black, black, I'm blacker than black, yo, because I'm black, and I'm black. Um, I think women want to sleep around and not have any consequence for it. Hell yeah, yeah we do. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, instead of, you know, taking personal accountability and being on birth control, they just want to, like, do whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> the Sinner's Commentary, Season 3, with me, Morgan Freeman. Women allow themselves to be masculinized. It's like betatization through a thousand concessions. The wife constantly asks the husband to give and give and give and give and give. And then she basically ends up in this dominant position that she never wanted to be in. And masculine wives, I'm telling you, sometimes they are the death of the, the man, the marriage, the household, just absolutely miserable. That's your manhood right there. You do yes. not give your manhood no. up under no. what so any circumstances. If you talking about I'm just doing this, like you can give your manhood yeah, up. Yeah, that's you know, a wrap. And, uh, <laughs> Behind the scenes, we'll know. There is a type of person that annoys me more than delusional women, okay? Simp men. I apologize ahead of time, gentlemen. Ladies, we are about to sit through the cringe, simping, hateful, bigoted with the charisma of a sack of hair content creator. You will have to wipe your screen after the bacon-greased, thirsty hair known on YouTube as side dishes. Again, I'm sorry, gentlemen. Ladies. In white supremacy, like a destiny, then you're going to bring him on. And so after destiny, he pops up on no jumper he pops up on all kinds of shit and of course he pops up running around with uh with kanye west thankfully even in the black manosphere there's a level of int what the fuck? integrity well in half the black manosphere and so these motherfuckers never popped up in the this motherfucker never popped up in the black manosphere i'm here to tell you right now we don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. But when he popped up on just pearly things, this uh, podcast or whatever the hell she does, you lying ass bitch. It caused a problem because just pearly things because she knows her griff well. She welcome to Argument Clinic, a guide to spotting bad arguments on the internet. In this episode, we're going to be talking about ad hominem, a classic logical fallacy. What's that? You don't think ad hominem attacks are that bad? Well, you would think that because you're a moron. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. You're not a moron. I'm just demonstrating an ad hominem attack, which means trying to refute an argument by attacking the character of the person making it, rather than the logic or premise of the argument itself. Host the show with three black dudes. Like, people tell me, is it, is it two black dudes and a black woman, all from the UK? We have Just Pearly Things, the rich white girl from Iowa, who doesn't care about any of this shit. You got, or depends on how you look at it, Big John, Little John, or Big Little John, or whoever, a, the discount version of Little John. The reason I cut the thing short, because this video from this point forward, just like it started with, there's nothing in it. It's empty. It's bullshit. There's nothing of value in it. And the good news is, this is as far as I, I got to be able to record it because I understand the rest of it. None of this is about Pearl's arguments that she makes. This is a hundred percent about weak, effeminate, Judas behaving, left leaning. Oh, oh, no white people are good. That's this dude.
instantly mean you know your mama raised you. You already we already know that about the dude because you men don't gossip or spread you know bullshit, especially about other females like in this kind of setting. So this is effeminate behavior at its highest. So just cut out all the other stuff that he talked about in the beginning because the rest of it is just true boring. But like I said, for every nut there's a wrench, he has his audience, good for them. They're following a chump. They're listening to a punk. And there's another content creator who is so overly sensitive to the fact that a white woman is telling the truth. Now, let's even get further into this, 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 this fat bastard. Let's get further into it. See, that's called ad hominem. There's no reason to do that, but just using that because he wanted to use it to attack Pearl and Pearl. I wonder if he even had the gu the gall gumption of the nuts to go tell Pearl this to her face. Or maybe get on Zoom, Skype, whatever. I bet you he didn't. And then when he tried to act like I was Pearl something open park, Negro, please. You know damn well she's doing a podcast with better numbers than yours. Better numbers, double, triple numbers of mine. 50,000 members of mine. I can't. I can't, I can't touch that. But my voice can carry all the way up there, which means I got to take you to task to let everybody else know, here's another bitch ass nigga right here, right here. House nigga supreme right here. We had OJ O'Shea Simpson yesterday, the last video. Now we got Stevie Wonder Bread. He just can see. Allegedly. All this is 100% ad hominem. Because I guarantee you, he ain't got no fight in him. Whoever's sided with that dude ain't got no fight in him. I bet his parents didn't raise him to say, hey, man, we don't, we, men don't do that gossip stuff. I mean, if the dude wanted to be a, a version of Wendy Williams, he's got, he's got to get some makeup. He's got to get some Clairol or something. But this don't look normal for a man and for a black man. Well, it's kind of standard because we kind of see that in the culture. You see your you see your 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 big guns up there that just love drama. Most of them are, you know, a little special. But this dude flat out. Now he can use it. See, I can use the word nigga just as much as he does. The only difference is I don't need to do it to sound tough or black. That's why he's saying that. You cannot look. I understand if you're Cat Williams, because then the word "niggas" gonna be all throughout the whole. And not that, but he's funny, and he saved hello. But not Little John's cousin. All of his are misplaced, ill placed, and that's replacing actual arguments. You do realize the first fifteen minutes, if his video is even fifteen minutes long, who knows? I think it's like ten minutes or five minutes. Notice he doesn't say a damn thing except attacking her as a woman and a, a white woman more than anything else, which further gives me some insight that maybe he hates women. Either by the fact that he can't get none or the one that he got ain't, ain't, ain't shit or he like white women and he's just under the cover with it and don't want to really talk about it because it, it makes him sick that he's attracted to white women. Look, I don't give if he's Muslim, then I get it. I get why you have to throw shade at Pearl. I get it. You don't want to look like you sweet on the white girl. But don't tell me you don't know she does a podcast. Because, you know, damn well, she does. You just try to make it sound like, oh, it ain't no big deal. Like your audience can rank next to hers. Like your character can uphold scrutiny. But that's the thing that these these sorry Negroes do, just like anything else. So you have the feminist women that hate her. Now you got black black folks over here, th this version of black folks, which is a weaker, more mental, fragile 
a, a part of the part of the of the culture which I even don't associate with. I, I try I try look I I try to work and fight for the Christian life, but damn it, it's hard to love something that that damn disgusting. Even God tells you have discretion. Don't be out there gossiping. And he was talking to men. Clearly, this he male did not get the memo. Imagine this is someone's daughter. However, she was raised. You know, whatever, whatever things she was raised to do, if she's doing the opposite of that, that's not that that's not an attack. That's not a grift, which is basically that's not the buzzword that's getting passed around about Pearl, because let's be honest, the people that are passing around projecting, they are grifts. Have you seen their personalities? Have you seen their charisma? Because it's vacant. Well, Eric, they have large audiences. People are stupid. I want you to think about this for a second before you start thinking, oh, because what they, they lost they, all the people up. L let me tell you something. Remember Heaven's Gate? All the people that committed suicide. Then people come from these families out there. These are the same people out there that fall for Internet scams and and scams overseas with, you know, Thailand lady boys and they 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 get, they get caught by their wives. And that's all these stupid ass, all these stupid bastards. Sure. They can have 90,000 followers. That's 90,000 idiots. And let me tell you, there are a lot more stupid people in the world than you really can fathom. If you have any doubt, just look at my man, Stevie Wonderbread. Even worse, go look at any of his comment section. It's not only is it going to be filled with some of the most deplorable and brain dead individuals, they all say the same thing. Nobody disagrees. Nobody has a counter argument to say, hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I don't necessarily believe it. just all these Negroes just going. This is why. Slavery was so, so, so destructive to the to the black psyche. Eric, you can't you can't link the two together with with what he was with, with, with their followers and they black followers. I said I can. Because the Africans outnumbered the plant, the, the plantation owner. And those with guns. And we didn't do anything. Because fear is, is a strong motivator. Now, what does that got to do with my man here again? Well, those same 90,000 plus how many subscribers this jackass has or anybody else that want to attack Pearl and, uh, and beat her up because she's white. But can't beat her up on her arguments. And she's got to be grifting because... How does a white girl say these things? How dare her say these things? Kevin Samuel's been saying these damn things longer. In so many words, hell, your pastor's been, not his, not, not, not Wonder Bread's pastor, but somebody's pastor out there. These are just, do you know the sad part? Do you know what, what are the, what are the, the, the most, the shittiest thing about having to be related to by skin and ethnicity to brothers like this? They're the ones that I, I have to fight out when somebody goes, man, this guy thinks all white people are racist. OK, that's not true. Uh, he's just an idiot. I got to apologize for these kind of jackasses because they don't represent the black folks. These are just these are black folks by default. What do I mean by that? If there was another color they could go with, they they do it. They're not really they're not really in the struggle they're grifting the struggle yeah this black outrage that this that that stevie wonder bread is throwing that ain't real he just needs some some extra views on his on his on his you know this a new eyeballs to his uh his content which ain't nobody gonna fault him for that but you could go attack pearl but you can't attack her based on her views because one, she can't have those views because she's white, which is complete ignorance. And two, she's a white female from Iowa who can't possibly know anything. 
how much more stupid and racist can you get? It's funny. The very racism we can't stand, we give to white people and then have the audacity, the stupidest of us have the audacity to say, well, it's impossible for us to be racist against whites. Are you stupid? Was your mother sniffing paint or huffing? I'm sorry. Did she take crack and, and did she take crack during your nine months? Well, she's brushing her teeth with bleach. How did you get this ass backwards? These are the same black folks that can't stand the police until until Junebug is jumping and beating on his ass and he ain't calling the homies. This dude ain't calling the homies. He calling 911. Save me. I'm just I bet he'll talk white then. I bet he won't use the word nigga no more. Not until until they get there. Because he needs to sound. <laughs> He's going to sound. <laughs> yes, um, I'm having a problem here. I'm getting assaulted by these four Negroes. And I am just appalled at the fact that I can't hold them off. Is there any way that you can send some officers down here uh, right away? Sir, are you white? Um, just, I can't. What was that? I couldn't hear you. That'd be this dude. You know what I want to what I what I want to say is just listen Stevie Wonderbread just take your ass up there and and ask Pearl to defend herself and her views defending her whiteness ain't going to do anything you can't make someone defend their skin color god gave them that it's man that made sin to be this kind of what racism in a sense god gave every uh, every skin color its own nation Every single one of them. Black folks got ours. Whites have theirs. Hispanics have theirs. The Tongans and you name it. And none of those things, none of those races makes one better than the other. None of them. Because God made all of them. That's how I can tell you this complete idiot. And I mean complete. He couldn't argue himself. He couldn't argue himself. <laughs> He couldn't argue with a three-year-old. He'd lose. Bad. All these simp, gossipy, effeminate niggas like this, these house Negroes, dudes like this, are a stain on black culture. Because we have to explain this Neanderthal and who raised him. Can I blame him 100% of being a gossipy little woman kind of boy? Maybe not, because his parents had to have something, something to say in that. I remember when I tried to act like a snitch when I was younger, my mom punched me in the mouth. I remember when I wanted to gossip, my mom slapped me in the face. Men don't do that. So now I bring all this stuff up here, and now look. I ain't gonna lie, when I was sinning, I love some gossip. I ain't gonna lie. When I was unsaved, I was, whoo, give me some gossip. I was just like them. Effeminate minded. Wanna throw people. Whitey's bad for everything. Whitey's the most dang. You wanna know something? During the uh the pandemic and during all the stuff with Trump during the 2020, 2020 and the 2016 and all this stuff, do you know I had to def I was defending. My white brothers and sisters, I had to come out and say, and man, I got my Facebook got raised. Because I was defending white folks like, hey, man, don't, time out, because they finally understood a taste of what it was like to be uh, prejudiced against. Right. And you would think I'd be happy about that. Right. I wasn't. It showed me just how ass backwards we are. Let me tell you as clear as I can. Black Lives Matter. Fuck them. They got nothing to do with black culture and black families because the only black male Black Lives Matter cares about is a dead one. Because if he's leading his house, he's an enemy to that organization. Fuck them. Nothing but witchcraft. And disgusting ass female idolatry 
is at is the root and ripe at the end of that organization. They can kiss my ass. You can tell them directly, and anybody that support them, you ain't shit. Because they help they they are promoting the Planned Parenthood. Remember that the abortions big with them. They love it. Well, that that was established by a real racist white woman. Knowing this fool, that's probably uh, Pearl's auntie. Oh, okay, June. Okay, June bug. Okay, I got it, dog. Go listen to uh, <clears throat> go put on Door of the Explorer or something, man. You you pushing too hard today. But this is the kind of people that these are the kind of brothers, because now they're circling the wags around. You know, Pearl, because she likes black guys and black people love her stuff. And there's black people that she employs black people. Oh, my God. Is that terrible? Son of a bitch. Is that bad? Didn't realize. I didn't realize she needed your help, Junebug. I didn't know she needed your permission to change her views. I'm, I didn't realize that anybody white and from Iowa and rich. Or anybody, I so saw a woman came out of Beverly Hills, richer than shit. I mean, she's just as rich. She can buy someone else to sweat for her. She can buy a clone and have them do her day and then slit that, that clone's throat at the end of, and start all day fresh and new tomorrow. But if she came down and said, look, let me tell you something. Women, y'all are really shit. Black women, you treat your dudes like shit. And I'm saying all of a sudden, the only thing they go here is what? Black. If Pearl is talking the facts and, and if Pearl was black, this would not even be an issue. Do you realize if Pearl was Brittany uh, up in a large vintage coffee, do you know that there'd be no argument to this thing? But you know what? You know, the funny part about it is. All the people talking all this smack, all them bitches ain't got the strength or fortitude to call a Nick Fuentes on they stuff and talk to him. Talk to him directly right then and now. It's her show. She can do whatever the hell she wants. When does she need black America to approve and checkmark and validate what she's doing? The hell is wrong with you? You overly sensitive, effeminate mama's boys. The only way you can, you, you know what should be done, and I, mama's boys should be able to wear dresses so we can figure out who's who. Because you would think this motherfucker here actually was someone with integrity that would bring up the argument that she makes. She was, he would say, yeah, well, Pearl was wrong when she said that about this, about black women, because black women are, the, we don't hear none of that. You know what we hear? She's white. Uh, she's rich and smile. You, you sure know a lot there, chief. You sure you ain't simping, dog? You sure you ain't mad? Maybe she rebuffed one of your interviews. Maybe the dreadlocks was too much. I don't know. But it. what, I, what I'm saying is simple. This dude, much like everybody else, or all these black folks circling the wagon around her, these effeminate, fragile male dudes, I'd be surprised and shocked if they got women, but hey, ain't nothing wrong with paying for your stuff. You know, give a tip, whatever. As long as you pay for that woman, ain't nothing wrong with that. Just make sure you don't run out of money because she'll go to somebody else. So I get all that. But do you realize they didn't bring up an argument at all? All they're doing is stating the obvious and being racist about it. Which makes you no different to any other racist. No different. You're just as much of a scumbag as how as, as to the people who raised you. I hope to God that if somehow they didn't raise you to have those views, then we cannot we could take that off of your parents and put that on your thick ass shoulders. Some tells me I don't think I'm wrong on that. This kind of racism that this idiot uh, wanted to use to boost up his uh, his 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 clout by attacking Pearl, it, it really ain't really gonna do anything. 
except make him except it gives me content to expose a fraud like this bastard. I would tell him good luck, but I don't believe in luck. But I will tell him this: it ain't gonna end the way you want, homie. Just don't date white women no more. You'll probably feel better. So since we got a second one that is too damn afraid to go after Pearl, I have a third that I'm going to show you that's going to roll up, which should be a fun one. That one at least is more entertaining than this bastard here. So we get to cut it short. I'm going to close you out with actually listening to uh, one of the, the three ad hominem fat, uh, uh, ingredients that happens, the three types of ad hominem. And tell me which one you see from uh, from Gingerbread Man here. Because I guarantee you'll see him real quick. I love you very much. I'll see you guys soon. Jesus name, I'm praying for you. Ooh, I can't even say his name. We've been cussing so much. I can't even say it. God forgive me. Uh, forgive me for my language. Uh, may the Lord bless all of you for hearing the sound of my voice. In Jesus name, amen. But for the most part, people make ad hominem attacks to avoid the argument altogether. Let's take a look at a few different flavors, shall we? So you've got ad hominem to kwakwe. This is when you accuse someone of not practicing what they preach. For instance, when a carnivore tells you that eating meat is bad for the planet, the fact that this purely hypothetical meat eater can't resist a savory bowl of beef stroganoff does not invalidate the argument. And then it didn't take long, gentlemen, for nothing lil about John's whole video is smashed like him eating a bucket of chicken. Grown as man acting like a female. Complete rubbish. There's ad hominem circumstantial, in which you try to invalidate the argument by claiming it is within the arguer's self-interest. For instance, if I... Grifting gentlemen. The hot new buzzword pushed by mainstream media, sucker MC circles and gossip channels masking as reaction channels. Again, rubbish. I present data that proves that tax cuts are good for the economy. It would be a fallacy to dismiss it just because I'd benefit from that tax cut. And then there's poisoning the well, in which someone is primed to distrust someone else's argument in advance. For instance, the way... For instance, Pearl is a white, rich girl. Funk white people write cisgender Wendy Williams. That kind of argument isn't an argument at all. It's just one more cowardly man who is black, who is racist, because it is all he has. Once more, rubbish. You get the idea. Ad hominem attacks are easy. And they can be kind of fun, but they are not sound. They are dodges, a way to avoid grappling with the substance of an argument itself. No, no man can resist low interest loans and non fat lattes forever. And white women. Gentlemen and ladies, if you enjoyed this roast video and want to stay current on the sinner's commentary, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. For the victory lap though. Whoa, whoa. They ain't never seen nothing like this before.